You are welcome to another video of Juniper Jonas Associate course. In this video, I'm going to talk about Jonas syslog configuration. With syslog, you will be informed of the latest important information and changes in the network. For example, when an interface goes down or when a BGP never sheet comes down, you will be informed with syslog. And it is very critical to be configured in the network. There are three concepts you should understand before you start configuring the syslog service and network devices the first concept is syslog destination that is where you want to send your syslog messages there are many destinations to which you can send your log messages the most important is to send log messages to a remote syslog server a remote syslog server with large storage allows you to keep your messages for a long time and they usually have a powerful search function to find your desired logs. It is also very important to store logs locally on Juniper devices since sometimes the connectivity of the network device is disrupted and no logs are received on the syslog server. And this is important to be sure that the copy of the latest logs are always stored in the device itself. Since the storage size of the device is usually not too big, it is possible to store only the latest logs in the device itself. The archive option allows us to configure the size and the number of log files to be stored locally on the device, depending on the device local storage size. It is also possible to send logs in the console of the device or to a, a specific administrator terminal, which are less important. The second concept is log facility, which is actually the category of log messages. Log are categorized by vendor based on the type of the log message. For example, kernel facility are the logs related to operating system itself or interactive command logs any commands generated by administrators and many other facilities there are many categories of facilities to configure and usually we choose to log all facilities the last concept is log severity which shows the importance of a log log severity is categorized from zero or emergency to seven or debug which logs everything. In the syslog configuration, you select which log severity should be sent to a syslog destination. Normally, syslog messages from zero to five are very important to keep for a long time. It is important to notice that when you configure log severity of for, for example, to be sent to the destination, that means all log with severity from zero to four will be sent to that destination. It is obvious that you can configure logs with different categories and severities to be sent to different syslog destinations. Now it's time to start configuring syslog in Juno's devices. Before configuring syslog in Juniper device, let's check what is syslog default configuration with command show configuration system and then syslog. As you can see by default, only file is configured as destination. In other words, log messages are stored locally in the device. The first command shows that all commands configured by administrators, in other words, interactive commands facility with any severity or stored locally in a file with the name of interactive commands the second command shows that logs with authorization category and info severity and also all other logs with any facility and any severity are stored locally in a file called messages to check the output of log files, we use show log command. For example, show log command interactive commands. As you can see, the command is stored in interactive commands file. For example, set system logging user 
and many other commands which is stored in the file and also we command show log messages and the last you can check latest log messages stored locally in the messages file and which can be of any facility or any severity as default configuration shows log files are stored in slash var slash log folder file list slash var slash log folder in juniper devices which you can check with file list command as you can see these are messages log files and also interactive commands log file by default for each log file up to 10 version and a size of one megabyte for each version are stored in SRX device itself but it's possible to change the default value which we will see in a few minutes for syslog configuration first we enter edit system syslog context mode after set command as you can see there are options to send syslog messages to different destinations like console file or syslog server or a admin user terminal for file as a destination we need to configure the name of the file the logging facility and logging severity as an example i configure that all logs with severity from emergency to warning be saved in a file with a name for example up to warnings log with any facility and up to warning to change the number of each log files to be stored locally and the maximum size of each file we use archive command set archive command set archive files i can change the number of files from 10 to 20 and with the command set archive size from one megabyte i change it to two megabyte two megabyte and for syslog server as a destination set host we have to configure the ip address of the syslog server for example 192 and then log facility and log severity as an example i configure all logs with severity up to information be sent to the server with the ip with this ip address so any facility and the severity up to info severity then i commit the changes before committing the changes let's check the changes the number of log files which are stored locally in the device are changed from 10 to 20 the size of each file from 1 meg to 2 megabyte the files are sent to the syslog server with this ip address with any facility and info severity and also to the file with the name of up to warning logs with any facility and up to warning severity and then commit and this is my syslog server i clear every messages and then start to configure something for example top set system hostname virtual srx1 for example and then commit it's expected that you will receive many log messages here and also we can check the log file locally stored in the device with the command run show log up to warning logs is the log stored locally in the device